faithful Niner Empire. What's good? What's good? What's good? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. Faithful Niner Empire. What's good? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. It's always good to be back with the 49ers Cutback crew. Huge shout out to them uh, for getting this What's Good show off the ground. And I believe this is the second straight season we're going to do the What's Good show with yours truly, Jay in the Bay. I hope everyone watching had a wonderful summer. I know the 49ers had an eventful all season. But as we're recording this, we are going to be 48 hours away from kickoff in Chi-Town in the Windy City against the Chicago Bears. Uh, I can't wait. Um, have a lot of things to look forward to. Of course, with the, the start of the Trey Lance era, obviously. Um, I think we also added some pieces on defense this offseason. Um, we had an incredible draft. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you guys saw it. We had an incredible draft, a lot of pieces. And, uh, hey, we're going to see it all in action week one in Chicago. It's supposed to be a little rainy uh, in Chicago. So we're definitely going to get a break from the heat wave we're currently having in Northern California right now. So I think the weather could potentially affect this game. And just to talk a little bit about the Chicago Bears. So they have an entire new coaching staff, including special teams coordinator Richard Hightower. Uh, that's a familiar uh, face we'll see. And also they have wide receiver Dante Pettis. So it'll be interesting to see Dante Pettis go against his former team in the 49ers. The Bears have lost a lot of players uh, on their defense. Akeem Hicks, um, Khalil Mack, Danny Trevathan. They lost Tariq Cohen on offense. They lost Allen Robinson as well on offense. So this Bears team, I feel, is rebuilding. And uh, they have a lot of young guys, a lot of young talent on this team. Um, PFF, I believe, ranked them as having one of the worst rosters in the NFL. Um, unfortunate for Chicago Bears fans, but of course not unfortunate for the 49ers. Um, obviously, the Bears are continuing to build around Justin Fields, but they could be a few years away. Like I said before, new coaching staff, new general manager. Um, I think this is the uh, this is a worst case scenario for the Chicago Bears to play their first game against the San Francisco 49ers, but. Let's get into Jay's five big things. Five, four, three, two, one. Five big things. Okay, number one. I feel the number one objective for the 49ers under Kyle Shanahan has been to run the ball. It doesn't matter who's in the backfield. The 49ers just need to run the ball, win the time of possession, uh, allow our defense uh, to to play less snaps and which uh, which will make them more effective. But uh, like I said before, it doesn't matter who's in there. I think the 49ers will attempt to run the ball anywhere between 30 to 35 times a game, especially when you consider there's going to be some rain involved on Sunday's game in Chicago. I believe the 49ers will run the ball, keep this Bears defense out on the field, tire them out, and um, – I think that will definitely lead to a successful day for the 49ers on offense. Number two, definitely got to execute on third downs on both sides of the ball. Let's start off on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, this was an issue I feel the 49ers had with last year with, with getting off the field on third down. Those third and seven, third and five, third and ten, very important for the defense to be able to get after the quarterback. Uh, and also not allow the offense to get a first down. And I think this helps eliminate these 14, 15 play drives that we've seen uh, opposing offenses uh, have on the 49ers. We eliminate that if we're able to get off the field on third down on defense. Now on the offensive side of the ball, the way we continue drives, the way we win that time of possession, the way we tire out the other defense, our offense has to execute on third down. And if we do that, I definitely think it'll put this offense in a much better situation to win. 
And the offense will have a much easier time to execute on third down if we get positive yardage on the early down. So first and second downs, we get positive yards. It'll make that those third down um, situations much more manageable. I'd much rather see a third and two, third and three compared to a third and 10 or a third and eight. Let's get into number three. Definitely have to contain Justin Fields. Um, I don't think Justin Fields is a great passer yet. Uh, I'm not saying he can't be, but as of right now, I see him as a playmaker. I see him as a guy when things break down, he's able to maneuver in and out of the pocket. He's able to extend plays with his legs and he's able to, uh, you know, gain an extra second or two or separation his receiver can have over our defensive back. So definitely have to keep Justin Fields in the pocket and the defensive linemen have to, hey, stick to their assignment keep contained, especially the edge rushers, and don't allow him, Justin Fields, to get out and maneuver outside that pocket um, because he can do, definitely do damage. We saw last season against the Bears, he can do damage on the ground. He can also do damage throwing the ball. But it'd be interesting to see how this Bears offense operates without Allen Robinson. He was with the Bears for multiple years. Um, I know the, the Bears have their best wide receivers, Darnell Mooney, so that will be an intriguing matchup. Darnell Mooney against either Emmanuel Mosley or a Traverius Ward, number four. Defense definitely has to force turnovers. Uh, I was looking up some stats of the Chicago Bears last season, and one stat that stood out was they were second in the league on offense with the most second most turnovers. So I don't think that can just change in one season, especially with a young quarterback. And let's face it, Fields does not have a ton of talent around him. Uh, so I think it's imperative for the 49ers to force some turnovers, force some third down and longs. And let's get some interceptions. Let's get some fumbles. Last season, I believe we were starting Josh Norman at cornerback against the Bears. Now, he did have an interception, but I think we've definitely upgraded um, the defense this offseason with bringing in Traverius Ward. Also, Forcing turnovers. Hey, let's get some strip sacks in there with Bosa, uh, with Samson on the edge. Hey, let's see. Let's hopefully we can see a Drake Jackson siding. Maybe he can get in and uh, force some turnovers. So that's my number four big thing. Definitely have to force some turnovers and let's get some easy field position uh, for the 49ers offense. Number five. Definitely have to play penalty free football. Uh, I know the 49ers versus Texans preseason game was was just that it was preseason, right? I totally get it. But one thing that really bothered me was we had too many penalties, too many yellow flags. Uh, we had over double digit penalties and over 100 yards of, of penalties. You're not going to be able to win football that way. That is not winning football. Um, and the 49ers cannot afford to uh, let this team stay in the game with penalties. And I know uh, the interior of our offensive line is young. And honestly, I'm not going to be surprised to see if they have penalties on Sunday because they're a young group. Um, they haven't they don't have that continuity together yet. Uh, but that's going to be a challenge all year. Play penalty free football. Don't allow your mistakes to help the other team. And those are Jay's five big things. Hey, Jay. And now we have, hey, Jay, this is where. Uh, um, 49ers Cutback subscribers uh, forward some questions for me, Jay in the Bay. So let's get into it. All right, we have Golden Dragon number five. What's good? Appreciate the question tonight. Golden Dragon says, for the upcoming Chicago Bears game for the 49ers, the field seems doubtful to be even NFL quality, to even field a fair game. What do you recommend to prevent unnecessary injuries during the game at Soldier Field? I think once the game is settled, the 49ers are going to pull Trey Lance for safety because of the field. Weather conditions and all the other stuff leads to injuries. Well, you bring up a, a great point, Golden Dragon, and I appreciate this question tonight. Um, you know, the fields are inspected by... NFL officials. I, there's no way they would allow, you know, these athletes on the field if the field was even in question or in doubt. I don't think the NFL would allow these players to play. Um, you know, it's going to be great weather for the for the entire week. And then on Sunday, it's going to rain. So hey, I, I think the 49ers are just going to have to uh, play on this field. 
Um, injuries, unfortunately, are a part of the game. We know last season was that no, that was two seasons ago when when Bosa went out um, and um, another player went out. Forgot forgot his name, but we were playing against the Jets. Obviously, that 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 field was was a little sketchy at best, but. I think the 49ers are just going to have to play on this field and the Bears have to play on it too. And I, I think you have to trust that the NFL has inspected this field. And I don't think they would play on the field if it wasn't, you know, NFL, NFL ready. I don't think they would. And uh, no, I don't think the 49ers are going to pull Trey Lance for, for safety of the field. If anything, you might see, uh, you know, the equipment manager running around trying to get different size cleats for the guys. That's something I think that will be, you know, um, that's something that will be utilized as the game goes on, depending upon how much rain you get. But um, yeah, I think the the conditions seem solid at Soldier Field. But thanks for the question, Golden Dragon. All right, we have Jess. What's good? And Jess is a TCC member. Thanks for that. Jess says, how do you feel about Kinlaw for this game? Man, Javon Kinlaw has had an eventful offseason, uh, but he's coming into the best shape of his life. You can see it. Um, when, he, when I was at practice, I saw him. He was doing very well, in, in great shape. I know last year he's recovering from the, uh, the knee surgery. Uh, but hopefully everything comes together for Javon Kinlaw. I mean, I think he needs to kind of have a breakout season. Um, you know, you, you got Bosa on the edge. You got Samson on the other side. Hopefully Armstead will be there. Armstead did practice today, so hopefully Armstead will be next to him, um, you know, uh, week one in in Chicago. But, uh, yeah, I think Javon Kilo will play well. He did have a sack against the Houston Texans, so that was good to see. I'm not necessarily expecting a sack, but as long as he, you know, takes on double teams along the offensive line, he's stout in the run game. That's that's what I'm expecting for Javon Kinlaw. Anything past that, whether he gets some sacks, I think that's that's icing on the cake. Uh, but I think Javon Kinlaw, I think we'll have a good game, and we're going to need him to have a great game to stop this this uh, dual rushing attack that the Bears have to offer. Thanks for the question, Jess. All right, we have 49er Classic. What's good? Also a TCC member. Uh, 49ers Classic says, how do you think Trey will do in this game? Man, I think this is a great opening game for Trey Lance. I, I don't think the Chicago Bears defense is really good. I think they've got three standout players. They got Ed, Eddie Jackson at the safety position. They got Roquan Smith, who was fifth in total tackles last season. So, that, so he's, he's pretty damn good. Also, um, I believe it's Robert Quinn had about 18 and a half sacks last year. So he's pretty good as well. But I think this what makes this 49ers offense – uh, or I should say this 49ers team complete is the 49ers don't have to rely on Trey Lance to do everything. Trey's not going to have to throw 35 to 40 times. Hopefully he doesn't throw more than I would say 22 times. We're going to run the ball effectively. Trey's going to work off play action and we'll see how his accuracy goes. Some, some days he's really accurate. Some days he's not accurate. The more snaps he has, I think we'll see a better Trey Lance and his accuracy will improve Week one, Trey Lance to week eight, Trey Lance. I think there's going to be a, a huge difference, especially obviously if he's healthy for every game. But uh, I think Trey, if I had to predict a stat line, I would say 15 of 22, 225 yards, two touchdown passes, maybe about 40, 45 yards rushing. That's what I would say. And I, for me, as long as Trey doesn't um, turn the ball over, I think um, he'll be that, that's that's the first step for me. Don't turn the ball over. Then let's be accurate and make good decisions in reading the defense. I think Trey will do well in this game, though. I think this is a great first game for Trey Lance. I think he will do well. And thanks for the game for the question, 49er Classic. And now it's time for Fade Away. Jay, huge shout out to everyone watching um, this, this first episode of What's Good with yours truly with Jay in the Bay. And week one is finally here. Uh, it seems like it's been a long time coming. It's been a long off season with, you know, Debo Samuel, with uh, this offensive line, um, you know, uh, Jimmy G coming back. <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's been a, a long off season. Um, but week one is 48 hours uh, upon us, and I just can't wait to see the red and gold out in Chicago. 
And hey, if we play our game, there's no reason why we shouldn't beat this this Bears team. And not saying it's going to be easy, but there's no doubt the Niners are the more talented team on paper. Obviously, I know, hey, the Bears put their pads on the same way the Niners do, and the Niners still have to go out there and execute. And I think they will execute. And uh, I think this defense is going to be pumped up, ready to go. Um, and I think this offense will will do its job as well. So I have the Niners winning this game against the Chicago Bears. We're going to start the season 1-0, and oh, first road game of the season. 49ers, 27, the Bears, 14. And thanks again for watching What's Good with yours truly, Jay in the Bay. We'll be back next week. Go Niners.